Staying in a dorm with fellow travelers is a great way to save some cash while you explore the world. In this video, we'll be covering gear to pack for an upcoming hostel stay. Hey, I'm Tom from Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. Everything in this video is included in our hostel packing list, so be sure to check out all 64 items on our website. Then use our free packing list tool and tailor it to suit your needs. Links down in the description below. Plus, we've got to give Hostel Detroit a big thank you for letting us stay at their place and test the gear. Let's dive in. Plenty of people pass through a hostel, and with so many travelers coming and going, you never know what's on the floor. Instead of setting it on the floor, hang up your gear with a hero clip to keep it off the ground. While traditional carabiners are great for attaching items to your bag, the hero clip hybrid carabiner can also hang your pack from a table or hook. It looks like a regular clip, and there's an internal carabiner you can twist down and out with a rotating swivel. The spring loaded clip holds your bag, sling, or jacket to your backpack, and the hook hangs over the edge of the table with a rubber underside to keep it from slipping off. It also works as a regular carabiner, so you can carry a water bottle on your travel backpack while the other pockets are full. Swivel the carabiner inside the hook to use it like any other. Then break it out when you have a bathroom stall without a hook to hang up your bag. It holds 40 to 100 pounds depending on the size you choose, so you can quickly access whatever is in your bag while it stays out of the way and off the floor. Sleeping in a dorm is a great way to make new friends at least until new residents check in late at night before your red-eye flight. Earplugs are a hostile essential since they can help tune out all the commotion. The reusable silicone earplugs from Anbo muffle sounds without blocking out your morning alarm. They won't make a room as silent as noise-canceling headphones, though they tone down sharp noises and chatter. That's essential for concentrating or getting some rest, whether it's on the plane, bus, or in a hostile dormitory. Though they come in one size, you can clip the stem shorter for added comfort in small ears. Twist them in to create a vacuum seal and you'll be able to sleep whichever way you choose, even on your side. The silicone is easy to rinse off the next morning so they're clean the next time you need them, and they'll stay that way thanks to the plastic carrying case they come in. Plus, you can even use them while swimming if you want to keep water out of your ears when you're traveling oceanside. Gear like earplugs are a must-have for a hostel stay no matter where you are. However, if you plan on visiting Detroit, we recommend you check out Hostel Detroit. They were nice enough to let us use their place to film this video and to test out all the gear on our hostel packing list. They're a nonprofit focused on helping visitors get to know the city in a low cost way by offering free tours, maps, self guided explorations, and other educational experiences. It's located in Corktown, one of Detroit's oldest neighborhoods, and is close to downtown and other popular spots in the metro area. Their focus on teaching travelers about the past, present, and future of Detroit gives you a unique experience in this historic city. We rented a dorm room with bunks for everyone on our team, but there's also private rooms if that's more your speed. If you're looking for an accessible way to experience the Motor City, Make sure to check out Hostel Detroit. We'll leave a link down in the description below. Now let's get back to some gear that's essential for the hostel experience. <music> Trying local cuisine is a great way to explore a new place. You may decide to eat from a food truck on the go or cook a family style meal in the shared kitchen. That's why a set of travel utensils should be on your list of gear to pack. Although most hostels provide cutlery, bring the Human Gear Go Bites Duo so you have your own if you and your buddies decide to share a big breakfast and there aren't enough forks to go around. They're also great if you're traveling where chopsticks are more popular and you haven't quite mastered them. The Duo locks together to create one lightweight package. Unlike plastic, this nylon withstands high temperatures so you won't have to worry about it softening in your hot and sour soup. The durable material won't break under pressure like the tines of a disposable fork either. Slide the utensils apart to use each independently, or lock the handles together to create a spoon long enough to scrape the bottom of a pint of ice cream. And since there is no knife, you're set to go through airport security. When you're sharing outlets with travelers, it's nice to have more places to plug in. Another essential on our hostel packing list is a universal adapter so you can power up anywhere in the world. Pack the One Adapter One World PD to charge up to five devices at the same time. It can accept a wall plug, three USB-A cables, and one USB-C cable that fast charges. Plus, the One World PD works in more than 150 countries. So you won't have to worry about packing different adapters when traveling through the Americas, Australia, or the UK. To switch between outlets, push the blue siders down and toward the back of the charger. They lock in place to stay in the wall, and the device prevents you from accidentally sliding out more than one country's adapter at a time. The front plug also accepts devices from all around the world, so whether you're native of Hong Kong or Hungary, you'll have no problem using this device on your trip. And while it's a bit heavy at 6.29 ounces, 
you don't need a separate wall charger since it's included. Plus, it's grounded to protect your gear on questionable electrical grids, so we think the extra weight is worth it. And if you're only traveling through the EU, you can remove the plug face and travel with just the smaller adapter. Securing your belongings is key during a hostel stay. Since there's usually no in-room safe like a hotel, make sure you pack a padlock. Most hostels have wall or foot lockers where you can store your gear while you're exploring. The Master Lock Combination Padlock is on our hostel packing list because it's small enough for most lockers and strong enough to keep strangers out. It's from a trusted brand and its small size can fit in many places, although it's probably too big to fit through zippers on your travel pack. Easily set your accommodation to numbers you'll remember even through the fog of jet lag. Then you don't need to worry about anyone else having access to your preset code. When you need to get your gear, align the correct numbers on the side, pop the lock, and you're ready to head out. Some hostels provide towels, while others charge for that amenity. Even if you find one neatly stacked on top of your sheets, it's good to be prepared. Then you'll have a way to dry off after the shower or a towel at the beach. The Nomadix Ultralight Towel is full size, so you're not trying to use something small enough to be a washcloth or a hand towel. It's super soft and ultra thin, yet pretty absorbent. And it rolls up to roughly the size of a burrito, so it won't take up too much space in your pack. When it's your turn to shower, hang it up with a hero clip to keep it within reach. It comes in several fun designs and colors, so you'll know it's yours if you accidentally leave it in the shared bathroom. There are other reasons an ultralight towel is handy too. Take it to the pool or the beach, or bring it in your day pack if your plans include hiking behind waterfalls or across forest streams. It even works as a curtain at your hostel bunk if you want more privacy. You may walk barefoot through your home or Airbnb. Although most hostels are kept pretty clean, it can be helpful to have a barrier between your feet and the floor. Javiana's flip-flops are quality sandals that do just that. Even if you're not heading somewhere tropical, thin rubber sandals are suitable anytime you're not rocking socks. While heading to the kitchen for a morning cup of coffee or taking a shower, protect your feet from dirt and grime with these budget-friendly sandals. They don't take up much room in your pack and are durable enough to last through months of travel. These aren't the most stylish shoes, so you're unlikely to rock these on the Paris streets. However, their low price means you won't be too sad if you forget them beneath your bunk when you head to your next destination. Travel is all about new adventures, though sometimes you wanna unwind. Chilling out at the hostel solo or with fellow travelers is a great way to recharge. With a deck of playing cards, you can spark new friendships that last beyond your trip. The Hoyle waterproof playing cards are full size and can withstand damp and humid conditions, which means they won't be ruined by a splash if you want to play a game poolside. Teach your new friends how to play euchre or recharge your social battery solo with a game of solitaire. Their water resistance makes these cards more durable than your average deck. However, that does make them a bit slippery, though it's more likely to cause laughter than frustration while you get the hang of shuffling the deck. Staying hydrated is necessary wherever you roam. It can help beat jet lag and keep you healthy on the road. When you're headed out on rugged adventures, reach for the durable, classic Nalgene bottle. These water bottles are known for being pretty indestructible, so you'll be able to tote them from India to Italy without any leaks or cracks. We're all about stickers, since they're one of the most inexpensive souvenirs, and a Nalgene is a big blank canvas for your memories. We reach for the 32 ounce to stay hydrated without needing to fill up a bunch of different times, However, Nalgene makes different sizes if you want something smaller or larger. While it may be a bit wide for those with smaller hands, it's easy to carry by the loop that connects the cap. Plus, that allows you to attach it by carabiner to your backpack. However, this bottle is not insulated, so you want to ensure you add plenty of ice if that's your preference. Throwing away extra food isn't good for the planet or your budget, although your paper wrapper from a street burrito may leak if stored in the fridge. Instead, bring along a way to store your leftovers so they last. The Anaclin collapsible food storage containers range from the size of a large phone to a small tablet and flatten down to an inch. So it's pretty easy to find the space in your bag as you pack for your hostel stay. Pop it open to save the extra food you cooked in the hostel kitchen. It's microwave safe so you can reheat leftovers without dirtying a dish the next day. Or pour your morning cereal inside if fellow travelers have already used all the bowls of the hostel kitchen. Since the top locks into place, it's also a great way to bring a new snack home from your trip so your family and friends can have a little culinary adventure. You can bring food through the TSA line provided you follow the rules for liquids. They come in a set of four, so pack one and save the sizes you're not using for a future trip or to stock your kitchen. Since they're inexpensive, you probably won't mind marking it with your name and date in Sharpie, or if you forget it in the hostel fridge. 
So there you have it, a peek at some essentials topping our hostel packing list. Whether you're a seasoned hostel hopper or just planning your trip, it will help with what to pack for your upcoming stay. Let us know with a comment down below what your favorite hostel packing list items are, because remember some of the best recommendations come from you, the Pack Hacker community right here on YouTube. Thanks for coming here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next video.